So we're going to look at an OJAF that represents the percentile rank of IQ scores. So we can kind of see how the two correspond. So we have the following graph is an OJAF for IQ scores. The vertical axis in an OJAF is the cumulative frequ relative frequency and can also be interpreted as percentile. So we want to find and interpret the percentile rank of an individual whose IQ is 100 and then also do the same thing for 120 and then what score corresponds to the 60th percentile. So for part A here, we want to find and interpret the percentile rank of an individual whose IQ is 100. So we're going to start at 100 and come up to our graph here and then follow that um, over here. I'm just going to go and mark all of these on our graph. And then for part B, what we're going to do here is do the same thing, but at 120. So we're going to come up to our graph here. And then um, it's a little bit crooked. Let's see if I can do that better. I'm going to go up on our graph here. And then follow that um, over. And then C, we want to know what is the um, score that corresponds to the 60th percentile. So for that part, I'm going to start over here at 60 and then work my way back. So I'm going to go over on the graph and then come down. So it's a little bit hard to tell these on the graph, so you may want to look at the examples um, to see those. So let's actually look there um, at the answers now that we have that. So for part A, we have that an IQ score of 100 corresponds about to the 50th percentile rank. So what does that mean? So this means that 50% of the IQ scores are less than or equal to so this key thing with percentiles is that it's always less than or equal to an IQ score of 100. So looking at part B here, um, this means that 90% of the IQ scores are less than or equal to an IQ score of 100, so that 90% is um, rough, give or take there. And on the other hand, we have that 10% of the IQ scores are greater than a score of 100, um, 120 there. And lastly, for part C, um, that corresponds roughly to about 105. Um, a little bit difficult to tell there. Um, so if you got that within close, I'd give you credit. So that's kind of using an OJA from Chapter 2 and showing how that corresponds to percentile and how to actually interpret uh, percentiles.